Alright guys, welcome back. So today we're going to be exploring a another part of Ice Mumble. Uh This time we're going to be back into the southern area, but we're going to be exploring along the right-hand side of the road all the way down to... Uh, there's a bridge at the end, I think it's got a name, but I can't remember it at the minute. So we're going to do that, and then we're going to, probably in the next video, do the rest of the southeast quarter and the tradesmen, and Old Harbour and Festival Town, or whatever it's called. So anyway, let's uh, get on with the exploration. So, Nether House is uh, one of the places we're going to be going. So let's take a look in here. A creeper happened. Creepers happen. Okay, so this is the storehouse. You are here. This is quite possibly... Oh, it's a map. Right. It's quite possibly the least helpful <laughs> sign. Okay, so uh, here you can pick up some random junk to help you out. Uh, let's just sort out my bags a little bit. I'm carrying all sorts of random things. Okay, so the storehouse is where you can come in and pick up things that you would you would need most of those things like food, and emergency supplies. There's also the um, the chests around here that generally um, have some really useful stuff in, but uh, I would imagine they've been plundered over time and haven't really been f refilled. So yeah, you can see there's some stuff in here, but you really have to n try and avoid being greedy and taking far more than you can than you should. So. Um, yeah, that's the storehouse. It's pretty much the same all the way through. Okay, and coming through here it takes us out into the public farms. So if you do take some bread from the storehouse, make sure you cook some back up. Or well, you don't even have to take it from the storehouse. You can take it all from here as long as you replant. Okay, so these levers just activate, uh, I think, water to come through and just wash it all away. I think it just moves the the sand there at the back. So, it, it's real easy as long as you just replant. And uh, down here we have a mushroom plant. Yes, always leave one of each type. So, if you have a thing for mushrooms, you can always come and grab some mushrooms. Okay, so that's the storehouse and the associated farm. And cows are everywhere. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Trinog's House of Cards. Oh, mushroom stew and slime balls. Yummy. I always like to season my stew with a slime ball or two. Four poster bed, that's how it's done. Oh, so this is a sort of basic home. Comes out onto the farm, so pretty useful. Trinog picked a good spot. Also oh, has a mushroom farm. Good job. And then there is another entrance down here into the sewers. So, at least now when we see things, we'll know where we are, roughly. Let's close that off. I hate open doors and things, they're terrible. Keep strong, lest the desert keep you. Alright, let's see. Casa de Rey tube. Nice little bath in the dining room area. Another one that leads out onto the farms. These guys got all the really good spots. That is another portal. Now that's in the nether portal house next door. I imagine this is another place to get into the sewers. Yeah, I see lots of places in Ice One will have these sort of sewer doors and things like that. Let's 
Let's see what's upstairs. <coughs> oh, that's unfortunate. You can see the another water sparkles through the wall. Uh, he probably hasn't been back here to see it though. All right, so uh, still keeping with the theme, nice flat roofs. Uh, what do we have here? Sort of rooftop garden type thing with cows. What kind of cruel person keeps cows on top of their building? That's just sick. Nope. <laughs> Nearly fell down, probably to our death. Alright, let's move on to the next building then. Alright, so this is green fleece. Uh, this video might end up being a bit short, so I might actually do a little bit more. Alright, so no idea what... Alright, so this is uh, the actual... Oh, bugger. That is unfortunate, and I don't have a sword. So what we will do... Is we will go down here. And pick up a sword. I need to be able to see what I'm doing. We'll uh, just wait for my health to go up a little bit, and then we'll just go back and clear out that skeleton. Alright. You guys get to see a little bit of chat as well, see what's happening. Let's get rid of this skeleton. Where is it gone? This is where it's going to ambush me or something and catch me out. I just know it. This is not going to end well. Maybe you committed suicide. Alright, well. If it comes back, uh, we've got a sword. We can do something about it. Uh, level 50 trade corner, blah blah blah. Uh, level 50 pickaxes at trade corner stores, blah blah blah. So this is just like a sort of notice board. Um, I wonder if it's signposted. That's another house. Not really signposted. Somebody's turned this into a through, uh, into a poster board anyway. And this just takes us up above. So this is a little bit of a departure from the norm. The red wall, uh, probably to help differentiate this place as the Nether House. Nether being a bad place, so red wall, bad. Mm. Yes. All right, let's take a look. Roman Quirty's house. Yeah, not bad. Small, but functional. Uh, I don't see a bed. But bookshelves. Oh no, oh wait. Right, so that clearly opens something. Maybe need to use both at the same time? No. Unsure. Okay, so... Uh, Alright, this is underneath some place. That's probably some sort of secret area. And that likely goes down into the sewers. No, nah, just a cobble room. Right. Let's just keep going up and see what we have here. So this is like places that I haven't seen myself. Um, oh, this is interesting. Oh, I see it's for the table. Right, right, right. Oh, 
I see. Right. So, uh, this place is this. Fish don't live here. Yeah. Fish don't live here. Not anymore. Alright. Uh, this looks like it leads behind, so we'll go and explore behind first, and then we'll come back to the, uh, the rest of this place and the uh, Frostheim Embassy. Let's see what's down here. Just a nope, just a sort of area. Warehouse Road. So that leads out into, uh, I think it leads out into the bazaar. Um, bazaar. Where you can find whatever you want and some things that you don't. Bungalow residence of Turtle Gandalf. Turtle with the best beard and the bushiest eyebrows. So if we just take a gander up here, sort of umbrella, seat, look out on uh, the river. Not bad. Uh, let's make sure we close that. Yeah, it's quite, quite. Free stone available, blah blah. Romans, metal gems, and stone emporium. Okay, so this is little, this is Roman Quirty's little house for selling stuff. Um, things for sale. Free stone, obviously that's all gone. Signs for special orders. PM him on the forums. Let's see what do we got up here. Oh, that's just too difficult for me, clearly. Another house. Welcome to draw some boat pouring. More boats than you can shake a stick at. Even a relatively large stick. But nobody uses boats because everybody hates boats. Right, so these, these basements are mostly just nothing. People just... Whatever. Ah, boats. Diamond. Mm. He obviously hasn't been to Crime Alley. I was actually carrying 64 diamonds when I went into Crime Alley. I am now carrying none. Alright, and this is just back to the gardens. Okay. So let's uh, carry on with our exploration of the southeast quarter. Or south quarter. <coughs> Just go around this building. This looks quite interesting. Let's take a look here. Yeah, very strong architecture, iron bars and so forth. Let's see. Bryce's Pavilion and Lounge under construction. Okay, well look at that ceiling. See now that, that looks cool. Is there a way up? Ah, yes, there is. There we go. See, this looks, it still looks cool from below and above. Now, that is how you do a ceiling. Especially when you're only working with one block width. You have to be real careful. Alright, so. Same basic. Now, this is a, a big one for a lot of people. This is. The Frostheim Embassy. Let's take a look at the wanted sign. Sopapaya. Aether for confirmed cultistness. We need a bigger wanted board because there's a lot of it. Then make it bigger, you poop. That. That is a fantastic rebuttal. Okay, Vendorize, uh, ink for the ink inquisition, I think, yeah, inquisition. So, Frost Time and Inquisition uh, share a little building here. Why do people... 
Oh, right, I see. Is that just to lock people out or something? Yeah. Alright, so let's explore the uh, Inquisition side first. Inquisitio Hereticae Privatitis? Hmm. Now that don't make a lick of sense. Didn't I tell you to stop making up words? Chaplaincy. <laughs> what makes their place any less of a cult? <laughs> Let's see, you see what's around back. The eternal flame of truth, the flame that lights the path of the faithful. Hmm. Well, it doesn't look like you can go in there, so, uh... Well, it doesn't look like there's anything, so... Hmm. Tunnel to Deepwell Hall and Frost Legion Barracks. Uh, that's wow. Alright, let's go down. Let's take a look. So we are now uh, under the river somewhere. To assault portal and to war chamber, war supply chamber. So, hmm, these are like little conference rooms. Yep, very nice. Barracks. I don't like this. Okay, so this goes to the Frost Time Embassy. That's pretty far away, and we'll explore that another time. Okay, the spoils of war go here. A less scrupulous man would steal it all. Okay. What's this? War supply chamber. Alright, okay, weapons, armor, <laughs> tools and stuff. Magical teleporter power to front lines. So I imagine that's when a portal is set up so that they can easily get there. Officer's lounge. Mm -hmm. Look at the decadent lifestyle that the officers of the Frost Time Legion have. This is just disgraceful. I fluff. And MB Strong. So I imagine these rooms are actually relatively spartan in there. Furnishings. Okay, well, I take back what I said. Look at all this priceless artwork, clearly stolen from other people. Only two officers, notice. Let's get down to business to defeat the nether. Did they send me daughters when I asked for sons? You're the saddest bunch I've ever met, and you can bet before you're through, Mr. I'll make a man out of you. Yeah. Deep well hall. Let's take a look at this place. Once again, decadence all round. I, for one, cannot believe these people. Paintings everywhere, gold blocks everywhere. Is it any, r like, wonder that most people don't trust the Legion. In Tantria, the Grey Magus. Oh yeah. So, enchanting table. Divines. Was a nuke neutral good? So this is better. This is a little bit more uh, down to earth. Less of the extravagance we've begun to expect from the Legion. I'm the architect, I should get some sort of dibs. To be Dark Primus' room, alright. I'm 
since it's internal, I'm going to close those. Alright, let's see if there's anything else here. No, no, I think that's it. So, this is back to the embassy. Oh god, there's no quick and easy way up, is there? Let's see, what is this? Alright, it's a view underneath the river. Uh, this is just supply chests and so forth. That is one hell of a supply room. Jeez. Rail access. Well, let's give it a jump. Rail and ladders. Let's go check the ladders first. Okay. So that's just to get back up. Let's see. Uh, rail door, press to open and close. Push button, get cart. Maintenance. Okay, so it's just some sort of rail system for the uh, frost region. Uh, it looks like it comes out um, under the New South Old West Road. Alright, okay. Let's go back upstairs and see if we can explore the rest of this building. And see, I was worried this was going to be a shorter video, but this building alone um, has really bumped up the time. Rooftop access. Oh, we won't worry about that too much. Okay. Captain Hofter's quarters and meeting hall. Alright. That's his quarters and a small meeting hall. Probably because there's only two captains. Or two officers. This is the Inquisition side. The library. Yeah. Small. Obviously they don't need that much. They only need their holy book. Know thy enemy. It's a creeper. If you say creeper man three times, a creeper appears and blows you up. Alright, so this is just the roof. Okay, so I think this, this is probably the last building on this side, so I will uh, just get to the bridge and see what the bridge is called. We'll take a quick look at the bridge. From above, there's nothing to close. Alright, uh, Westbourne, Grand Harbour Bridge. In times of war, it's for those filthy endermen. Filthy. Let's just take a quick look at the bridge. This is a fairly recent addition. This used to be just a road. So now it's um, an arch bridge. A little seating gallery and stuff like that. That's New Harbour over there. And way over there we have Old Harbour. So we've got two harbours here. Uh, the Old Harbour is not really in use anymore. It's all about the New Harbour. It's because the distribution of wealth has changed from the Old Harbour to now where the New Bazaar is. So obviously ships want to come in where there's the money. You wouldn't want to take a ship anywhere else. Okay, so I'm going to 
cornered for that video here at the Grand Harbour Bridge and uh, we will come back and explore the rest of this quarter. Cheers, see you later.